Hundreds of Chicagoans rallied and marched to voice opposition to Chicago's bid for the 2016 Summer Olympic Games, raising the point that the city should not spend and somehow raise billions of dollars in a time of massive city deficits and budget cuts and shortfalls to many badly needed social services. The popular actions against the bid, organized by a coalition called No Games Chicago, was timed to the same day that representatives from the International Olympic Committee visited Chicago for a week-long official visit. Seven years ago, we were where you guys are now. Seven years ago, we heard all the same promises you're hearing now. And we were lied to. Everything they told us in Vancouver was a lie. We have to fight them in the streets now. You can still stop the Olympic disease by sending your message loud and clear to the IOC that you don't want the games in Chicago. You want the money for infrastructure and hospitals and schools and for your kids not, not to have deaths and, 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 and the destruction of your communities that's going to follow the Olympic Games. We were promised that it would be free. You're promised that it's going to be free. It's not going to be free. In Vancouver, it's cost us six billion dollars so far. The cost of Vancouver alone is half a billion dollars in direct costs, and Vancouver's on the hook for another billion dollars for the Athletes Village. Is that what you want? No! We were promised that it would help the poor and the homeless. We've had a 500% increase in homelessness in Vancouver since 2002, 2003 when the games were awarded. We have 3,000 people in the, living on the streets in, in Vancouver. Is that what you want in Chicago? No! There is too much going on in the city of Chicago. We got children killing each other. But our mayor rather focus the Olympics on some games. That ain't right! That ain't right! We have a surge in homelessness in the city of Chicago. We can't house homeless people, but yet we tear down public housing. That ain't right! That ain't right! Meanwhile, all of this is going on, the mayor has convinced everybody in Chicago there's no money for transportation today. There's no money for housing today. There's no money to stop these children from killing each other. But we can find close to one billion dollars for some games that's seven years away. That ain't right. Something needs to be done about this. We need to send a strong message to the mayor, to the International Olympic Committee. People who are human beings, lives are at stake. We do not need any games in Chicago. I'm from Poor. We're a caucus within the Chicago Teachers Union, and we've been fighting the school closing and privatization of Chicago public schools. And we got one big question for the mayor. Why is it that he's now got a $500 million deficit where he can't pay teachers, he can't pay the schools, but he's got billions for the Olympics? I don't understand that. He wants to close these schools. Now, we at CORE have been fighting it. We've been fighting the privatization and throw people out of the city. That's their plan. And the Olympics is going to complete that by further destroying the homes and schools of all of us, kick us out, and they got billions to show to the people at the top, nothing for us. Let me ask you, if they have, they're going to bring in world-class sprinters, world-class track people, Yet not one Chicago public high school has an indoor track facility. Where are the games for us? They got, like I said, a $500 million deficit. They want to take that money from the teachers' pensions. But they got billions for the Olympics. Where's the money for us? These are the same people who are foreclosing on our homes, saying they don't have the money. The same people are taken from our pensions and from our health care, but they got billions for the Olympics. I don't understand. Don't understand at all. So I'm here to say no games and to join us in the protest to stop school closings, stop them taking away our health insurance, our jobs. Leave the money for the people. The money you don't put in this Olympics put in the schools of Chicago. We love Chicago school. I'm Andy Thayer, and you're watching Chicago Independent Television.
Does Comcast hate God? Let's find out. Well, Comcast blocked internet traffic, which allowed internet users to upload and download online copies of the Bible. So yes. There you have it. Clear evidence that Comcast hates God. Help protect God. Visit these websites to learn more and get involved. Comcast, it's blocktastic.